Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Hearthstone and a new adventure has actually been released for Hearthstone, at least the first of four wings. So this new adventure is going to be called the League of Explorers. And with the League of Explorers, wow, the Light of Discovery, welcome to League of Explorers, and I have gotten a card already called the Forgotten Torch, which appears to be for the Mage, deal 3 damage, and shuffle a Roaring Torch into your deck that deals 6 damage. Interesting, I don't know what the- why- why is this a- don't forget your hats, now I have an Explorer's hat, which is for the Hunter, give a minion plus 1 plus 1 and Death Rattle, add an Explorer hat to your hand. Okay, that is certainly odd. So if you go to your adventures here in the store, you can actually purchase the new expansion, which is going to be the League of Explorers, which is going to feature these four. And one of them is a Murloc, and that is hilarious. And we're going to defeat bosses and the League of Explorers to earn some rewards. And I really don't know too much about this adventure. I really don't. I knew it was coming. I heard it was announced at uh, BlizzCon, but I didn't know too much about it. Besides, it was called League of Explorers. And turns out it came out today. I had no idea. So... Welcome to the Hall of Explorers. We've got a lead on the League three of pieces of the Staff of Origination. Can you help us recover them? I sure can try. All right, so we scatter across the ancient sites of Azeroth are the pieces of the powerful Titan artifact, the Staff of Origination. Join the League of Explorers to acquire it for the museum and earn 45 cards unique to this adventure. 45?! That seems like a lot. That seems like way more than like what we got with Black Rock Mountain and Naxxramas. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Let's just hop into this. I am excited about this. I really don't know what we're going to be doing here. I've heard that instead of facing a person, you're going to be facing the map, which is going to be weird. I, I really don't know. So that is reserved for the staff of origination. So we have to actually get that, I would assume. Can I see my rewards? Ah, oh, I can see rewards. We're going to get the Explorer's Hat, which I already have, apparently. Why do I already have it? I don't know. Uh, Jeweled Scarab, which is going to be a 1-1 one, one for 2. Uh, discover. Valkyrie is Discover, a 3-cost card. Interesting. Summoning Stone. Uh, when you cast a spell, summon a random minion of the same cost. That could be fun. And then Reno Jackson. If your deck contains no more than one of any card, fully heal your hero as a Valkyrie. So if you have, like, an all-Legends deck or something like that, you put him out there, and suddenly he heals your hero all the way back to full. I, that's just weird. All right, so let's hop into this. I don't know what we're going to be doing with this, but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Why are we flying on an airplane? Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. The staff lies in the ancient temple of Orsis. Reno's inside already, and he needs your help. Does he? Well, I'm on my way, Reno. Let's go and do stuff. We gotta kill the guys, I assume, right? Reno's nearly to the rod, but he just had to rub the shiny lamp he found. Well, that summons genies. We all know that you can't rub a lamp that's gonna summon a genie, so help Reno find first piece of staff. Wait, Reno, don't rub the lamp, and this is going to be Zinar, and he's got an ability called the Jin's in Intuition. Draw a card and give your opponent a wish. I don't know what any of these mean. There are a whole bunch of new phrases like discover and wish. Like, these are all, like, new things. I don't, I don't know what they do. Um, what could we do here? I say we go with my Salty Rogue deck, because I, it's a deck where you do roguey things, I suppose. It's, there's nothing really amazing about it or nothing uh, mind-blowing. It's, like, about doing, like, combos and, like, I don't know. Hitting them with stuff. It's a it's an average rogue deck that I put together. I just call it salty. It makes it sound like it's a lot more interesting than it is. But uh, salty is just one of the specs uh, for rogues in WoW, so I called it that. Well, at least it'll be quick, I suppose. We'll keep backstab, I think. And blade flurry, and all right, double backstabs. All right, I'll take that. So this guy's going to be giving me a wish. I like the new board. Oh, new board to play around with. Hey! I'm Reno Jackson, world-renowned archaeologist, explorer, and treasure hunter. With the self-control of a magpie. You tell him. Oh, that's all you're going to say? Ooh! All right, so we can't really do anything turn one, unless I want to prep. I could prep into a backstab on a minion that he doesn't have. Okay. He gave me a wish, so I get a wish for glory. Why did he use that? Oh, he did so he could draw a card. Okay, that makes sense. So I can actually put this out, which is going to discover a minion, which is I going to put a random minion in my hand? I guess we'll find out. Oh, so it's like, I've heard about this. So it's like picking like an arena draft. Like if you discover something, there's going to be three cards and you kind of have to pick one. Kind of similar to like tracking the, heart, the card that hunters have. 
none of these cards look great. Um, I think I'm going to grab the Argent Horse Rider. Ah, then you get to put it right in your hand. Okay. Okay, fair enough. And... All right. Then we'll, we'll just dagger up and kill off the Wisp. And on turn three. Okay. It is very nice of him. Yes, I agree. Ooh, the Zappomatic. Well, on the bright side, actually, we can just backstab his up Zappomatic and it'll go down easy. Uh, so before we do that, I suppose we wish for a minion, right? Ooh, Mind Control Tech, a new Brack, or a Twilight Guardian, a new Brack. By the way, all these cards are not cards that are in my deck. These are just, like, appear to be random cards. A new Brack I don't even have. Uh, return this minion to your hand and summon a 4-4 Nerubian. I want that card. That looks like fun. Uh, so we're gonna grab the, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna backstab that thing off of the board. I think that'd be nice. And what else do we want to do? Probably. Wait, no. I guess we put out this. There. There. We've got charge. We've got divine shield. And do I want to pop? No. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep my dagger. I think I'll keep my dagger for right now. But we have a new brack, so that's kind of fun. So every turn. He draws a card and does that. So Pit Snake, destroy any minion damaged by this minion. Ah! No fairsies. Wait. He lost a shock to pop my divine shield. I can actually kill off uh, that thing. Did I ever tell you about the time I infiltrated the ogres of Dire Maul in disguise? Oh, tell me all about it. Oh. Well, I, mean, I didn't hear. <laughs> so we'll kill off that. And let's wish for a new minion, which is going to be Explosive Sheep, Paul Stomper, or... Vajola Lightbane. Whenever you target this minion with a spell, green divine shield. Well, I don't have any things to like give it, but whatever. I'll put it out. There we go. I don't think I have any buff cards or like to, to, to target it with. You know, I could target it with a backstab and they give it divine shield. I, I don't know. Okay, Forgotten Torch. It does three damage, and then we already got that card, right? And then it's going to. Yes. I didn't hear any of these stories. Jeez. All right, so whenever I cast a spell, I'll summon a 1-1 one -one apprentice. So I could put out that, then I could prep, and then eviscerate his face. I don't know why I would do that. Uh, so we're going to put out that. We're going to wish for a new card, which this is filling up my hand pretty quickly. I'm not going to lie. Deadly Poison, Eviscerate, or Cold Blood. I think another Eviscerate, right? Wait, no. Give a minion plus four attack, though. I think that overall, that could help out more. So we're going to go with Cold Blood. Um, and then we're going to Cold Blood that, which is going to give me another Violet Apprentice. Um, I could prep into an Eviscerate here, but I don't really see a point in doing that. So... Especially when I have like a Zerd Drake, so I can like buff up the damage of it. I don't know. I, this so far, this one seems to be pretty easy. I'm waiting on like a big twist. Oh, wish for valor. Discover a four cost card. <clears throat> that is different, I suppose. <laughs> Tinker's oil. So I think we definitely got a rock of Tinker's oil here. So we are going to prep. Yeah, we're gonna prep. Into a Tinker's Oil. Alright. Yeah! Now, let's see here. We could Eviscerate. Do I have Lethal randomly? Okay, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. Uh, 14 plus 4, it's 18. Wait, then I Blade Flurry and I win, right? Wait, no, I don't have enough mana to do that. I could do that. So we're we'll probably we're probably gonna like just go for like uber lethal here in, turn, in a second. So death rattles give a friendly minion plus three plus three. So instead of doing that, let's just go face. Yeah, go face. And actually, I'm gonna get rid of that just to make room on the board here, I suppose. And oh wait, I did have lethal. I'm bad at math. I don't know. Like, that, that one's like here. Have a bunch of free cards. It's it was odd. Onward. The rod lies just down that hall. This it didn't show me uh, able to get this card when I looked at the thing initially. What is this? The genie the Zyphers. So this is the guy who just beat. Whenever you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. 
Okay, I mean, I could see some combos for that, I suppose. Like, if you give a spell, like, if you give a minion, like, if you're a paladin, you know, you give a, you give a minion, like, divine shield, he'll also give this guy divine shield, or if you give it, uh, plus attack, he'll also give this guy plus attack. So, uh, yeah, oh, that's okay. Oh, cool, another card, Jeweled Scarab, which is going to be Discovery 3 cost cards. This is one we saw initially. So, apparently, you also get a card from the boss that you beat as well. That's kind of cool. Temple of Osiris. Uh, help Reno find the first piece of staff. Still, same thing. Alright, so we made it to the vault. This guy's guard in the vault. What do we got to do here? His name's going to be Sun Raider Ferrix, and his ability is going to be Blessing of the Sun. It's going to be a passive, so whoever controls the Rod of the Sun is immune. Alright, so we're going to be wrestling him for that, I suppose? I... I... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We'll go with the, the rogue deck again, because that was kind of fun. So we'll rock that, I think. So, he's immune as long as he has the staff. I would assume I can take the staff from him. I don't know how I'm going to do that, though. Yeah, see, you can see he's immune. Fabrics. Can I destroy the Rod of the Sun? Actually? Probably not, right? Uh, let's get rid of all these, I think, for right now. Although, Eviscerate might have been nice, actually, I think about it. Well, we can backstab it. Phantom Knives, maybe so. How's this baby work? When it dies, it probably goes to your opponent, I would imagine. I'm guessing that, right? Alright, Death Rattles. So, starting to miss your opponent. Okay, that's it's easy enough. Uh, so, I'll backstab it? Turn one? Question mark? I, actually, no. I should have waited in the backstab and eviscerate on turn two. But I could prep into it. But that just seems silly. So we'll pop it. We'll pop him like this. Just feeling them out, you know. This man's rocking a pyromancer. Can't say I understand the strategy behind that. So he's going to cast a spell, I would assume. Yeah. And that's going to kill off the guy and give it to me. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, te technically mine. Flame juggler. Deal one damage to a random enemy. Haha, <laughs> it went to me. You nerd. All right. So let's try. So we're basically going to be swapping back and forth. Huh. Right now, I have like nothing but spells. And so... It's like, what am I to do? What am I to do here? I, I, she, 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 she's. All right, Phantom Knives, I suppose. We do that just for card draw to see what we get. And then we end up getting, uh, we end up getting a Vital Teacher. I'm going to attack that so that if he does cast a spell, his Wild Power Mancer is going to kill off his other guy. I ah, he went and killed me first. Jerk. Tovar Toplight. Uh, uh, deal five. What's, I can't read what it says. Deal five damage to both heroes this is a death rattle. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that's. C can I sap? Can I sap the rod of the sun? I feel like I need to do that for science. Hold on here. Hold on. Uh. Ah. No, I, I don't want to. I don't want to like fill up my board with uh, with uh, violet apprentices because thanks to that jerk, it'll just kill them all off every time. Sunwalker? Gosh, I don't even know, like, how to face this person. It's just weird. It's very weird. All right, so we got the South Sea Deckhand. If I equip me a weapon, I'll be able to put him out. Then, stuff. Huh. So how do I want to get rid of that ugly, annoying thing? I can sap it, easy enough. Uh, so let's start Let's start things off with that. Let's, let's do a little sap. Get that thing just out of the way. Uh, let's get ourselves a weapon so we can put out this fellow who has charge. And who do I want to kill with it? Because I'm, I'm really leaning towards that guy. But then again, I can just trade him into him and him into... Yeah. I think we'll do it this way. Uh, I guess I didn't even need to do that. I could have actually kept a minion. I'm going to take a... L no, because if I kill him, it's going to do five damage. I got it. Ah, it's so confusing. You know what I could have done? I could have prepped and eviscerated that down. Gotten that on my side. 
They're not taking any damage from that jerk. Oh my gosh. This thing has a lot more depth to it than I thought it did. Holy moly. Well, I guess we'll do that. I am... You might want to try to hang on to that rod. It's valuable. Yes, I'm well aware. So, one of the things I could do, if if this fails, like, a deck with more, with, like, taunt and stuff to it, the reason why he has that Sunwalker, I think, is so, you know, he can protect that. Um, okay, so I trade one of my, my little weenies into that, right? Seems fair enough. Unfortunately, all my cards, with the exception of Blade Flurry, are combo cards. And so, I'm going to have to waste a combo somewhere. I'm going to have to waste a combo somewhere. Uh... I think we'll waste the SI7 Agents combo and tough. use that to set up the combo. Oh, uh, do I want to tinker right now? I'm, I'm going to lose my blade here. No, we're not going to tinker. We're going to hit him with the Eviscerate. I then trade the Violet Apprentice into him. Then start working on that. Then we'll get ourselves a brand new dagger, which we can maybe tinker with. On the next turn. I, I am so confused by this. Alright, so he's got Flame Lance. He's gonna... Alright, smart smart play. He's gonna take that back. Then he's gonna... They're gonna give the thing I need to kill Taunt? Like... <laughs> whatever! Alright, beautiful. That's gonna tr that's gonna trigger a... It's uh, gonna trigger our combo here. Which is going to allow us to... Who are we gonna get? Who's gonna get the buff? With my luck, it's gonna be him. No, it's gonna be him. Alright, that's not bad. Uh, I don't wanna waste my weapon on something as simple as that guy. So here we go. And there. One thing to keep in mind with this is if you have a weapon and you have this staff on your side, the weapon, like, you can attack anybody and it's not going to do any damage to you. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, he's got this hoplite, which I can kill the hoplite easy and I'm not going to take any damage from it. It's actually pretty great. I also have the NT kill bot. <laughs> All right, so let's pop into here. Easy enough. That's going to be no damage to me. Do I have lethal? Yes, I do. I do. All right, so ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, and now we blade flurry, which is to all enemies. So that happens to the hero as well. Bam, done, easy. Actually, I messed up really hard a lot of times in that game, but came out on top. Hey, talk about Harrison Jones. Why are we are we gonna fall to the ground? Summoning stone, wherever you cast a spell, summon a random minion of the same cost. So that's gonna be a fun little card. Plus now we have Anubisoth Sentinel, Death Row, give a friendly minion plus three plus three. So that's not terrible. Really, that's not that bad of a card, I wouldn't say. It's a four four for five. No, that's not bad. Might see some play. Now this is why I believe to be the final part of this particular wing. I'm not sure. Got the first piece. Get out of here before we get squished. Oh, so, we, so the staff was the first piece. Okay, so now the temple is collapsing. We have to run and counter new obstacles. Okay, so this maybe this is the one. I, I had heard that... We're going to go with the rogue again. I had heard that with this uh, with this adventure, at least for this first wing, you're actually going to be like facing the environment instead of a person, which, is, which sounds really interesting. He has no cards. Look at that. I'm pretty confused by this. I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna rock the agent. We don't need Blade Flurry right away, I don't think. Uh, backstab, sure. So how does this work? How does this work? Collapsing ceiling and monsters everywhere. Hurry up! Uh, what? <laughs> well, ten turns to escape. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out for the sake of having it out. So what? So how how do I escape? I don't. Oh, it's like choose your own adventure. Gain a mana crystal, uh, or or draw a card. Mana crystal. So we so we walk through the pool. It's like a choose your own adventure. This is awesome. Uh, gosh. Um, you know I'm not a fan of really any of my. Let's kill that. Kill that. I suppose. Although ah, I didn't need to do that. I am so bad when I, when I feel like I'm under pressure. I could have backstabbed and then hit it. Hey, a bit of spikes. Mm, 
take five damage. Oh, okay. So walk across. We can walk across. Uh, gingerly across the pit of spikes, or we could try to swing across like on a rope, and then possibly take ten damage or no damage. We're gonna swing across. This gonna be more fun. Like okay, so I fell. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Paladin Shredder. Backstab. I can't. I can't. My character's immune. Like I can't attack like anything. So I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I really don't. Am I supposed to just survive? <gasps> I'm so confused as everything that's happening right now. So Orsus Guard is going. Oh god, it's got the fine shield and everything. Oh golly. Well, I can pop the shield. At the end of your turn, destroy the minion to the left. Oh gosh! I, I can't get rid of that either, which means it's going to kill my succubus. I should have read it first. Oh my gosh. I'm messing this up so badly. So we're going to put this on the right, I guess. It's going to allow me to draw a card. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. I have a feeling I'm going to lose this boss for the first go. Ah, there goes a... Ow! No fair. Hey, that's a nice statue. In such a shiny ruby. Draw two cards or restore Ooh, we well, can touch the statue or draw two cards. I'm gonna touch the statue for ten health. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his gem back. Oh, so I okay, so by taking the gem, it made it so much of big Oh golly. Okay, uh so we're gonna zap that back into his hand. Thank you very much. And then we're gonna disguise toast, toast the seven five, then run you into you. Bam! I I think we're okay. Do I see the survive? Oh gosh! So the boulder stays there. Oh! I didn't even realize. Also, I didn't even realize it was still there. So he's gonna put out the statue again. Basically. Oh. I I could get you out of the way. You're welcome. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I, I just, uh, do I end my turn here? I guess. I mean, do I just need to survive? Like, what in the world is this thing? Okay, so now we now have a five ten temple guard on the board. Um, we actually might be able to deal with that pretty easily, so, backstab, right? Then, do that, because this guy is toast. Then, aha, Here we and there, I was able to deal with it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to put Edwin out with that combo, but I was able to get rid of that thing. I'm still alive. This is going to be an Obsidian Destroyer at the end of your turn, so on the 1-1 one -one Scare for Taunt. But I'm sure this will get us out faster. Let's go! On my map, it just says, don't go here. Okay, so, <laughs> if I say, no way, I'm not going that way, then uh, I do nothing. Or I could get one turn closer to the exit and then encounter a 7-7 seven, seven war golem. I would rather not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do nothing. Uh, thank you. Oh, golly. So, I have that, which is nice, but I'm really... Hmm... What would be the best way to do this? I, <laughs> that 1-1 one, one Scarab's annoying. And I also need to get rid of that thing, but I actually don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get rid of this Obsidian Destroyer who at the end of the turn summons a 1-1 one, one Scarab Taunt. I don't think I can get rid of that. I can heal myself and then put Edwin like up in front of me, but like aside from that... And I'd also have to take a lot of damage. So I'm going to waste a six attack thing on a one one. Heal myself. And then get out, Edwin. Then hit that, I suppose. Make it so he only has one. I'm so what in the world is this thing? Seething statue. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies. No Pharisees. No Pharisees. Two turns to escape. I have... I keep drawing my heels, like, at very clutch times. I'm a fan of it. I really am. Big fan. Uh, well, no matter what, I'm going to lose that, right? Yes, yeah, so no matter what. Now, is that... It's it's two damage to all enemies? So, I think I'm going to heal up Edwin. 
have Edwin attack him, heal up Edwin, and I'll be able to kill off that thing next turn, I would assume, right? Ugh. Why is it always bugs? These are the biggest bugs I've ever seen! Ten threes? What? <sighs> How am I supposed to deal with that? Uh, well, I could actually get rid- Okay, so we're gonna sprint. I wish I had a prep into that sprint, but we're gonna sprint and just pray for a miracle. All right, we have the eviscerate. That's actually all we needed. That's all we needed. Um, okay, so how we want to do this? So, I could. I don't even need to prep into my eviscerate. Um, okay, so I can run that. I can run the four two into that, then hit it with my. I can hit him with my stabby stab. Then trade that into that. Then eviscerate the other one down. Still have the three one on the board, and then give myself like a new weapon. Right? Is it that easy? Gosh, I hope this is this easy. All right, so Edwin's still there, right? There. I can see the sun. God, what big scary things gonna be here at the end? Wait, I win? Do I win? I think I win. Dun 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 dun. Oh, we made it. Oh, I never thought I'd be happy to see this dessert. Desert. Desert. <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine. So, Rumbling Elemental for the Shaman. After you play a Battlecry minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. Hmm. And this is for the Paladin. Sacred Trial. Uh, secret, when your opponent has at least three minions and plays another, destroy it. Seems like a silly secret, but it's definitely playing into the idea of a Secrets Paladin, I suppose, just by having more secrets. <laughs> All right. So I feel so. Uh, yeah, we end up completing the first wing here, and that gives us Reno Jackson, who is uh, gonna be a legendary, a four-six for six. If your uh, deck contains no more than one of any card, uh, heal fully heal your hero. So depending on the deck you're running, it could be like a complete heal, which could be kind of insane. And this is gonna be an Ancient Shade, which is gonna be a neutral card. So battle cry, shuffle, an Ancient Curse. I don't know what that is. Uh, into your deck that deals seven damage to you when drawn. Why would I want that? I mean, it is a 7-4 four for 4, which really isn't... That's pretty good stats, but it puts a curse into your into your deck that does 7 damage to you when you draw it. So I don't know. Ooh, Clash Challenge is unlocked! Warrior and Warlock! Oh, they're looking for the staff. <laughs> I, I... No, we have the staff, I thought. Oh, no, we're going for the overall staff. I only had a piece of the staff. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. So... Apparently, there are class challenges. Where do I go for the class challenges? Aha! Here is where I go for the class challenges. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm going to cut off here, and with the next video, we are going to be taking on the class challenges for the Warrior and the Warlock. And then next week, assumably that's when they're going to release the new thing, we will take on the new wing. Because as I'm sure you guys are well aware, they, they release these... Uh, these adventure wi uh, adventure wings in wings, you know, every week a new wing comes out up until the end of it. So uh, next week a new wing will be out, and we until then we have class challenges to mess around with. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Remember to leave a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.